Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 7 of Football Manager 21. This is our fourth club in our journeyman save at Levante. So we'll hit a few scores. Uh, we've got some the youth intake. So like I said, if anything came up that I wanted you to be aware of or that I thought you'd want to be aware of, I'd come back early. So uh, hit the like button, subscribe for daily Football Manager content. And anyway, let's get into it. So here's our youth intake not very good <laughs> it's just not very good so we'll probably sign a bunch of the three the, the three three star guys maybe even the fourth the two and a half stars just for depth uh i'll see who the uh who they recommend that we sign and probably go with that but yeah it's a it's a pretty bad class uh you know we have great and excellent youth facilities wonder can we improve the youth facilities and can we improve the training facility? Now, here's where the Bielsa thing comes in. If they tell me no, I'd probably quit <laughs> in real life. Now, they are disappointed in our playing direct soccer football. Uh, I don't know how you play direct and defensively solid and counterattacking all at the same time. But yeah, I don't play Route 1. So I think that in and of itself, if they're giving me any grief with that, would lead me to want to leave pretty quickly. So that's probably going to be the the thing I'm going to sit on. Speaking of that, let's jump into job security. All right, none of the league un sides are available right now, so nothing to look at there. And jumping into the schedule. We are in great form. So let's see, last episode was Barcelona and Atletico Madrid. And just to kind of reiterate, Illa Marindi, he joined us here. This was his first game in the transfer window, was right. I think he scored on his debut. No, he started against Aisha, but this was his first goal in his second game. So three consecutive matches there. Here, here, here. One, two, three, three consecutive there, and we're in the middle of another three consecutive match run. He has been outstanding in uh, scoring goals. He is already up to 15 and 14 and only a 6.81 XP. He has turned out to be one hell of a signing. Uh, I have gone in and offered a new contract, or I tried to offer a new contract to. Um, Kovac, and he had so many stipulations. He wanted to improve the uh, the left wing position. He wanted to improve the coaching staff. He wanted uh, a big pay raise. He wanted to be able to use the club as a stepping stone. And I was okay with the stepping stone. I was okay with uh, the big raise. I tried to get the other two out, and he literally wouldn't wouldn't even talk. To me. So we'll we'll let him cool off a little bit because he was you know he got upset and we walked away from the table. Uh, but anyway, that's what's going on there. Uh, Barcelona is we are currently even on points, uh, although uh, Barcelona has a game in hand. Oh, I just noticed it started raining. Uh, let's see stages and second half. So we are actually the top team in the league, even better than Real Madrid, on even games. 30 points from 12 matches. We have been on a good run here. So just looking at the schedule, 31 matches played, 59 points. We are 11 points clear of Espanyol for Champions League. But again, I'm, I'm not feeling it with this team from the board. I mean... You know, being disappointed with us. In fact, let's see if we can take a look at that, see if they still have that. Uh, we loaned out to Reno. They're bat mad about that. He was supposed to be a first choice. We recalled him. Of course, he can't play for us now because he's not registered. Uh, not happy with the Adria deal. Uh, they were not happy. Ooh, they accepted these, it looks like. And these will be done... Before the start, well, around the start of next season, so they have started them. That's good. We haven't heard back from them yet, but I guess they'll 
give us that here in a day maybe and this should be it all right they accept that 3.43 million and facilities 2.37 so that's five million dollars we had the money in the bank uh, i do need to make another budget adjustment here all right well again nothing else going on from a match standpoint so i'm still shooting to come back for the end of the season so let me get rolling and uh, i'll be back when anything else happens all right this is one of those cutbacks so we have some news to discuss just some, some stuff uh kovach has uh now raised the desire for a new contract we've gone in he's only asking to use the club as a stepping stone so we've got a contract offer out to him fully expect that to be accepted in short order uh these were interesting uh so most overall goals by a player in a season uh the competition record it or the compare uh the record is 26 he's got 24 so this would be a club record uh jose Paradis currently holds that record that was set this year oh 1915 a hundred years 19 i just just didn't register i saw 59 60 wait wait that's this year and he doesn't play for me. Uh, yeah, so that's a 100-year-old record that's on the verge of falling. Two more goals. Crazy. And I think he'd already have that if we hadn't signed uh, his new strike partner, uh, Ila Uh And Mecca is on the verge of the first-team assist landmark. I've moved him back into my starting lineup because uh, he is a better crosser of the ball than Garcia. Uh, but he has uh, five goals, 14 assists, and uh, Arcates Murillo uh, holds the record with 16 assists, and that was set two years ago, 56-57. Sure, where he plays at. Uh, he plays for Atletico Bilbao. Okay, when did he score all those goals for? Huh? Huh? Oh, that that must be a Oh, this would be a league record. Okay, not a club record. A league record. Okay, so that's actually pretty impressive. Uh, we have qualified for Euro Cup 2. So let me kind of catch you up here. Uh, we had the loss to Atletico Bilbao, uh, beat Alaves 4-0, and beat Getafe 4-2. Uh, no, uh, notice Ila Marindi's not in there. So that's his longest goalless stretch since joining the club. <laughs> which is pretty insane. Uh, four games left. We are currently third in the table, and we're 10 points clear of Alaves with four to play. That's 12 points. So we could clinch Europe on the next match against Dijon. So anyway, that's what we're working towards, and uh, we'll definitely still come back. I don't think there's any reason to come back now. So we'll see you guys for the end of season matches, Aisha and Espanol, and any news between now and then. All right, well, back sooner than expected. We just finished playing Gijan. Uh, we beat them 2 0. They had the advantage in shots and possession. Uh, Stefan Pernan uh, was named player of the match with a 7.7 .7 rating and six saves. Uh, Garay is out for three to four weeks. And we have confirmed our best ever finish uh, going into Champions League next year as well. Qualified for the Champions League with a top four finish. And the board have set the initial budget. I, I have no idea what to expect. 3.61 and a transfer budget of 4.85. That seems a little light, doesn't it? I mean, they certainly don't want us going out and buying any really big players. Hell, I had about $4 million left before. That was, yeah, I don't know. Now, the, what was the uh, payroll? 3.61. So we're at 3.61 right now. So, yeah, I can't, I can't afford to bring anybody in. Uh, now, if we take a look at the squad, sort by contracts, do have uh, five players leaving. Uh, Maxim Bugniak, 18 years old. He's on 
15 to a month. So 15, 25, 36, 46. So just about 55,000 a month, not a lot. Uh, we're probably going to have to sell a few players, probably some lower end guys. And I could see, I could see us working on that, uh, just trying to raise some money. But we're going to have to cut payroll too uh, before we can sign anybody. So it's going to be a double-edged sword. Uh, but I definitely have some, some ideas on some things I'd like to improve. But don't forget, we already have a bunch of guys joining us uh, for next season. Uh, let's look at the incoming. So Vasquez, yes, uh, these are young guys. So Vasquez could probably help us in the, uh, on the back line. He's going to compete for center back next year. Cassarelli, I think he could compete. Uh, that's going to give us a couple of good center backs coming in next year. Corbetta is going to be in the mix for striker next year. And that, that could mean that we could move one of our two starting strikers uh, if somebody comes in. And after the year they've had, somebody may come in with that, you know, $50 million offer that it's going to take to move them. Uh, we also have a couple of guys going out. Uh, he's leaving. You've already looked at him. Bugniak, we've already looked at. Bruschetta. I think all these guys. Uh, Zemo's the only guy I think that's under contract. Maybe not. But anyway, we're not losing a whole lot there. May have to move some of these sell on clauses to try to raise a little bit of money. And I don't normally do that, but oh well. All right, let me keep plugging away here. Hopefully these get updated into season. A lot of times they do. All right, we're coming into the Aisha match. Uh, sitting good. And, uh, you know, we as we mentioned, we've qualified for Champions League. There's Mecca. He gets a goal. Deflects off Sanchez's hands. Then Gilkes beats Pernan. I still think that's a spot I've got to upgrade this year, especially going into Champions League. Guerrero, Hendrick Nass, through to Illa Morendi. Oh, and he just dinked the keeper. And that was a beautiful goal. Made it 2-1, to one, Levante. 74th minute. Nass brings it up. Plays it through. Illa Marindi with the volley from behind him. That was a hard play to make. 78th minute, near post. The header goes in. And that was Nass. Two goals in four minutes for the club. Made it 4-1. to one. That goes over. Garcia just misplays it and stops. And Il Marindi makes them pay 5-1 to one in the 80th minute. Hermosa would play it over the top. A quick one-touch. Kovac and Navarro get split. And Martin makes us pay 5-2 to two with 10 minutes to play. That would be the final. And it would be a strong win for us. 25-7 to seven on shots. Nass close to triggering a 30 appearance clause, and we'll have to pay out 375000 That is fine. Three goals for Il Marindi. Definitely need to praise him on that. So Real Madrid lost. Now we are in second, three points up on Barcelona. On uh, They have a game in hand, but we do have a three-goal advantage in goal differential thanks to our recent run of form uh, that has been huge and you can see we were just a few points ahead of Alaves not that long ago and now we're 16 points clear <laughs> so we have been on one hell of a run however Real Madrid 24 match home unbeaten streak now we beat them in the season opener but remember Real Hispalis beat them the very next match we looked at that a couple episodes, you know, early in the season. That was the first, that was their home debut, and that was the last time they lost a home match. Uh, it was at the very beginning of the season in their first home game. So, 24 game unbeaten run at home. And uh, yeah, I take some credit for that since we stunned them on opening day. 
All right, well, let's get up to Espanola for our last match of the season. We're going to play that one out on camera, just in case you'd like to look at the payroll to turnover ratios. There you go. Uh, we're at 43%. Um, $95 million in turnover. Must be nice to make money. <laughs> Ooh, Chelsea fires their manager. Interesting. Chelsea are 10th in the Premier League. Lester, oh, look at Lester falling down to mid-table. Oh, my goodness. After winning the trouble last year, back into mid-table. That's disappointing. Let's take a look at them real quick because we haven't really followed up this year. Uh, let's see. So they lost the Community Shield, won the Euro Super Cup, the Champions League Group A. So they qualified out of group stage, right? So that's good. They won. Yes. No other team I would love to see just get totally destroyed than that one. So that was a huge win. And I can promise you I would not have videoed that. I would not put them on video. Uh, you guys know why. Uh, I've made no bones about it. But that's huge. Two to one on aggregate. Lester got the win there. Quarterfinals. And that's where they got by Burnley. Burnley! Ah! Oh. By Burnley. Ooh. Bayern Munich got knocked out. PSV. Real yeah, Madrid beat Sasho Montbelliard. 5 4 on aggregate. Wow. High scoring affairs. Uh, let's see. Burnley, where are they at? Seventh in the Premier League. 16 wins, 7 draws, 15 losses. Only a plus three goal differential. Take a look at their senior squad. Of course, they had loaned a bunch of our guys out. Uh, Cesar, 16 goals. Noel Mark, 13 goals. Boy, that's got to be disappointing, huh? Back to back 31 goal seasons with us, and only seven goals in 34. Wow. They're standing. We're, we're finishing second and going to the champions. Hello? <laughs> I don't think the game actually takes any of that into consideration. I don't think the game, even though it's told us that we qualified and it's given us budgets, I don't think the game as a whole recognizes that in the decision-making algorithm. I could be wrong, but, you know, what else do they want us to do? All right, so Barcelona has caught up with us, and we're on even footing. Wow. That is insane. Kovac signs a new contract, so it will be a five-year extension with a $65 million release clause, and he will get paid $224,000 per month. And he's happy, so that's good. <laughs> You kind of want to keep your captain and your best player happy. All right, we're going to start perning in goal of back four of Navarro, Fernandez, Kovac, and Guerrero. Santin and Enrique in the mid. Mecca and Ibanez on the wings. Gonzalez and Ilamarindi up top. Let's get it done, boys. Santin, we have put him on the transfer list. Uh, he's got a pretty hefty, I think, $36 million. 34 million, something like that, for his uh, release clause. Nobody bit, uh, but you know it's not quite the end of the season, so we'll leave him there and see what happens. Try to get him motivated. We're on the road. Uh, Espanol are in pretty poor form there. Uh, you know our form, of course, looks pretty stellar. We're going to go with the encouragement, and we have had two quick shots. Good sized crowd in attendance. Espanol is in the. God, we're all wearing the same color kits again. Holy crap. All right, I think we're in the. Let's see. All right, there's Ibanez. All right, so we're in the solid looking blue, and uh, Espanol are in the white socks and white shirt sleeve. And a little bit, a little bit darker blue, but my God, you can't, uh, can't tell. That's horrible. <laughs> That's just horrible. Come on, Spain. Fix that. 
Make somebody wear, you know, their third kit or something, you know? All right, Navarro, working it on the back line. Santine, who's not happy with me. And he wasn't happy because I moved him back to a squad player from an important player. Oh, Gonzalez made Castillo commit. Oh, and what a chip over the keeper. Fernandez gets the assist. Gonzalez with number 26 on the season. Not quite what we had with, uh, with Mark last season, 40 goals, uh, just about. But uh, that was a brilliant play. I think he got stuck into him a little bit. That finish was sublime. Wow. And we are up 1-0 early doors. They are right back on the attack. And Prince Makingo gets his sixth of the season. Pernan just watched it go in. Shades of Bailey Peacock Farrell. That is not helping. As Ibanez goes down injured, we're going to bring on Adric Nass on the sub wing there. Hopefully we can get something going here. And Gonzalez is through. He breaks. Can't find the net. Oh, I think that's the mail, and I'm actually waiting on something. So excited. That is flipped over. I'm going to have to pause the recording and go get it so I can show it to you for my, for my cell phone. Got a customized uh, cell phone cover for my new iPhone. My wife, uh, last weekend, my wife dropped her or put her iPhone in the washing machine on accident, she said. I believe her, but she did want a new iPhone, I think. So, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's a crack from range. Enrique gets in for number seven on the season. Patrick Nass with the assist. And we've gone back up. Levante two, Espanol one. Certainly not a goal of the season contender there. Seven shots, two on target for Espanol. Guerrero. That one's headed out. Enrique tracks back. Oh, the yellow shoes reminding me of El Magico. And that's it. What a save by Pines. Oh, that was stellar. All right, Mecca. He would like an assist. Headed clear. Padron, they've got a counter opportunity. We've got a three-on-two advantage. Nass takes the professional foul. It's only a yellow. I don't think he needed to do that. All right, well, I just noticed I had moved my mic while I was eating pizza earlier and forgot to move it back. Uh, all right, we're in the second half. Hopefully you can hear me better now. It's two to one at the half. We're going to demand more. I thought about just going back and re-recording and starting at this point and just showing highlights, but... Yeah, you know, it's the last match of the season. I figure you guys are nice enough to forgive me. Illa Marindi beats his man two. Oh, my God. He had two cracks at it, just trying to get it past the defenders. He had two defenders on him. And I thought he was going to run on and tap that one home. But just a little too heavy on his last touch. Santine can't do anything with that. And remember, he's not a very good defender. He got all ball there, thank God. McGinko, it's knocked away by Pernan. Couldn't control it, but he does make the save. All right, tell you what, I am going to pull off uh, Santine for Brian Romero. He's a youngster. Uh, he is 17 years old now. He just turned 17 uh, this year, February 3rd, or March 2nd, I'm sorry. I have the date set to American. Uh, so we're going to bring him on, see if we can help get him a little game time. And we've already made the other sub, so we're going to have to hold off for a little while on the last one. We'll take the goal kick from there. Still holding on to that slim 2-1 advantage. 
Oh, there's Romero. What a pass up to Ilamarindi. And he buries it past the keeper. He has reached the 20 goal mark on the season. And remember, that uh, that just earned him a a bonus, a goal bonus, and we just signed him in the in the mid-season window, in the winter window. 20 goals in half a season. Yeah. <laughs> so Ilamarindi Gonzalez, we've got the other new guy, the young guy that we just signed that he'll be joining us in the off season. We're going to have a lot of strikers um, for next year. At least three really top notch. At least I perceive them to be top notch. And one of them may have to go. We may have to sell one to keep feeding the kitty. All right, defense is not doing anything here. I'd like to see Mecca get another save. I think uh, a save, an assist. I think he is uh, one away. Uh, Pernan went down and tried to make himself big, I think, but couldn't get a leg on it. And it's three to two. Pernan looks aggravated, and he should be. We're going to demand more. 30 minutes left to play. And we need a little bit better here. Do we pull Mecca off? He's going for that assist record. I don't think we do. Oh, well, nice ball by Ilamarindi. Into the box. Takes a crack at it. Pines knocks it over. We'll take the corner. Romero is going to line up to take the corner. Near post, and the keeper comes out. Pines. What a save there. And we're right back into the highlight here. There's Mecca. He needs, I think, one assist. Oh, my goodness, what was that? <laughs> we need, he needs one more assist, I think, to, to equalize. He was on 15, and the league, the Spanish first division mark is 16. Oh, there's the header on from Gonzalez. And Ilamarindi has it knocked wide. He's feeling it. He is feeling it. Romero headed out. Mecca's going to track back. Crosses it over. Fernandez gives him an outlet. I think Navarro. Let's put Alex Santos on, I think. Yep. Let's do that on that left left uh, wing back. We'll keep Mecca in trying to get that assist. Romero has to push back. Oh my god, Kovac kicked it away but it went right it bounced between the two players. And Kovac came out the worst for wear on that. Luckily, they weren't able to capitalize. But we've been seeing that a lot this season, more so than in recent seasons. Look, it's Movember. I don't think we're in November in real in the game here, and we're certainly not in November in real life. Kovac gets beaten. Hernan makes the save, and Guerrero puts it up into the stands. Let's encourage him. Holding on to that 3 to 2 advantage. The header goes right down. Oh, Santos makes a stab. You know what? I want to do that right now. Stay on your feet. We had changed that a couple of episodes or last episode, I think, but I didn't change it permanently. And I think we need to. <laughs> Romero comes out ahead of that, gets it up to Ilamarindi, takes a touch, but puts it right into the goalkeeper. Gonzalez tracks down, and Ilamarindi has another opportunity, but Pines makes the most of that chance. Can we hold on? A lot of triangles here in the midfield. Kovac 
on his man, gets beaten, and the little chip into the spot, and Burgos with the ninth goal of the season for him. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Well, I gave him encouragement. Now I just want to get out of here with a draw. I'm very disappointed in this. Ibanez hurt. Um, I'm going to go hands in pockets. Not happy with your performance. Hate to chew you out in the last match of the season of a great season. And we finish in second position. Didn't think we were going to catch Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona lost to Atletico Madrid, who were mid-table, 2-1 to one on the final day. And we get past them by one measly point. Second in the table, boys. Gotta like that. All right, he's out. We're going to send him to a specialist. It is a broken ankle. That's not good. Hopefully he is back. Let's see, May. He's going to be out into next season. So we're going to have to reevaluate that. Uh, we're going to have to see what we're doing out there. Uh, Ilamarindi, one goal from triggering a clause. So we just saved $1.7 million by Ilamarindi. Uh, not scoring a couple of those last chances. I wonder if he did it on purpose. But think about that. 19 goals in 20 appearances. Wow. That's 30 goals on the season combined in 42 matches. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Valued at 19 and a half. I tell you what, I don't think 29 is, uh, I'm going to offer him a new contract. I play him as an advanced forward anyway, so I'm okay with that. Holy smokes. All right, we're going to have to walk away. I can't afford that. You're breaking the bank, man. You're killing the golden goose. All right, Bill Bow's in. We pay out $2.4 million. I kind of want to see the payout here and anything that happens up to the end-of-season review. And there we are. Let's pop out of this for a second. Uh, so we'll look at all this uh, in the end-of-season review. Record high, best finish ever. Let's take a look at the job security. So League One has should be finished. Oh, the Wren's job is back to being insecure. Do I? Well, first off, PSG lost by three points. Wow. And it was Socio Montbelliard that held on to beat them. Incredible, incredible performance. Lil's only four points back. Because you think, looking back at previous years, uh, let's see, past positions, no, that ain't what I want, stages, there we go, current season, league table, so they won by 11, 3, 18, 11, 22, so I mean, they've been dominating this league, so you know, when they lose it, it's pretty much a nail-biter. Uh, I am curious, man, would you guys lose your shit if I uh, expressed interest in that job? Amiens, oh, that's insecure finances. Um, their finances are okay. What are our finances? Secure. We haven't gotten our payout this year. What do we get for finishing second? Do we know? Do we get any money? <laughs> Do we get any money? Doesn't say. You get 16 million in parachute payments. You know, I'm, I guess. Let's look here. So Real Madrid, I mean, they haven't dominated like PSG have, but you know they have now won it four years in a row. Five, you know, four years in a row. So I guess that could be the first takedown. I guess we'll stay at Levante unless something just utterly amazing comes available, uh, like Leeds. But, 
By the way, how did they do this year? Woo, barely stayed above relegation. They could sack him. I could be persuaded to go to Leeds. Oh, well. Uh, don't know what's going to happen in the offseason. We'll come back next episode. End of season review, uh, transfer special, or team move, although I'm not planning on that. Uh, being that PSG lost, it kind of takes away a little of the allure. Not quite, because they've still been by far the dominant side, dominating their league more than any other. But Real Madrid is still a big hurdle to overcome, and we're gonna, we've got Champions League next year. We have not been in Champions League yet in this save because I've walked away. So that may be the enticement to come back for this one. We'll see. Hope you guys come back to find out what I decide to do because you just never know. Have a good one, guys. Bye.